I am Dr. Mazhar Iqbal, working as Professor of Surgery in Rifa College of Veterinary Sciences, Lahore. We have also established Rifa Pet Hospital, which is a teaching hospital of the university. Today we are going to start a series of lectures on fluid, electrolyte and acid base abnormalities. Today in this lecture, we will talk about fluid and electrolyte abnormalities. As you know, the all the living organisms they have about 40% solids and 60% fluids in their body. The fluids they are divided into two compartments. One is the intracellular compartment, which comprises 40%, and the other is the extracellular compartment, which comprises 20%. Now, out of this 20% uh, extracellular compartment, 15% fluid is found in the interstitial spaces and 5% is the plasma. So out of this 15% uh, interstitial fluid about you know 10% comprises aqueous humor, CSF, joints, gut and the bile. Now functionally all these compartments they are contiguous, contiguous with each other you know and they are in dynamic equi equilibrium with each other. Let us take the example of a 30 kg dog and we will see how many, how much fluid is distributed in different compartments of the body. Suppose we have a 30 kg dog, the solids they are 40 percent so it will be 12 kg or solids and 60 percent fluids 18 kg will be the fluid you know, or 18 liters of the fluid. You know. So out of this, you know, ICF 40%, ECF is 20%, so ICF is 12 liters and ECF will be 6 liters. Interstitial water, which is about 15%, that will come out at about 4.5 liters. And plasma, which is the intravascular compartment, 5%, that will be about 1.5 liters. So this is how we can calculate it on a mathematical basis. Uh, the other rule which is uh, which we can follow to define the intracellular and extracellular fluids that is the two third rule you know. in two third rule total again you know the total body water in 30 kg dog is 18 liters two third of the total body water is intracellular that comes to about 12 liters and one third of the intra uh, total is extracellular which comes about 6 liters Similarly, two-third of the extracellular fluid is extravascular, that is interstitial, that will be four liters, and one-third of extracellular is intravascular, that comes to two liters. So the results are the same, whether you have any formula, you will have the same calculations as far as the ICF and ECF is concerned. As far as the electrolytes are concerned, the main electrolytes in the ECF, they are the sodium, chlorides and the bicarbonates whereas in the ICF the main electrolytes are potassium, magnesium and the sulfate. The other uh, electrolytes they are you know in almost equal in the intracellular and extracellular compartment. So as far as dehydration is concerned, dehydration simply we mean deficit of body water in but we know that you know when we lose when we lose some fluid from the body it is not only the fluid which is lost we also lose some electrolytes along with that you know. such as take the example of the you know just the sweat when we sweat it is not only the water which comes out it is all we also lose sodium chloride along with that so sodium and chloride you know they are two ions which are being lost from the body you know. So on this basis, we can define the dehydration into three categories. One is the isotonic dehydration, hypotonic dehydration, and hypertonic dehydration. <coughs> In isotonic dehydration is that when we lose water and sodium in proportions similar to those found in plasma, such as when we lose 
fluid from the GIT that is almost hydro. We are left with isotonic dehydration. In hypotonic dehydration, there is decrease in the plasma sodium concentration. That is, we lose more sodium as compared to you know as compared to what we find in the plasma. You know. So, as far as example, in adrenocortical insufficiency, the kidneys are unable to retain or to conserve the sodium. So as a result, the sodium is lost and potassium is retained by the kidneys. The, the result is we suffer from hypotonic dehydration. On the other hand, we also can have the hypertonic dehydration in which there is deficit of water in excess of sodium. That is increased sodium, increased plasma sodium concentration. So that can happen with the two liter water intake or excessive loss of you know water from the respiratory tract.